I want to get to my first guest because we are short on time with him. He is in such high demand. Dr. Dean Ornish joins me today on the Plant-Based Business Hour. I'm wondering if in the medical community, you obviously have been on the forefront of bringing plant-based lifestyle to the medical world. Are your colleagues, other doctors making a connection between eating meat and the pandemic that we're in right now? Or eating meat or not eating meat and having a stronger immune system, I'll say meat and dairy here, are are your colleagues starting to make that connection? Again, you've been on the forefront. Well, unfortunately, most of the efforts have been on avoiding the virus rather than how we can uh, boost our immune system to be more likely to avoid getting sick if we're exposed to it. And I think both are important, but most of the effort has gone in the former, and I think we need to put more emphasis on the latter, what we eat, how we respond to stress, how much exercise we get, how much love and support we have, how much sleep we get, whether or not we smoke cigarettes. Each of these are important factors that we do have control over. Mm -hmm. And I think that's important because it's so easy to feel like, oh my God, what can I do? You know, I'm I'm a victim, I'm powerless, and we're not powerless. It doesn't mean that, you know, you can go out in the world and your immune system is so great that you don't need to worry about it. We need to avoid the virus, but it can't always be completely avoided. And so we need to also do these measures that can enhance our immune function. But you know, what's good for your immune system is good for your heart, it's good for your diabetes, it's good for your, your uh, you know, looking younger, it's good for um, just about most of the chronic diseases, I really think are just the same disease manifesting and masquerading in different forms because they all share the same underlying uh, biological mechanisms, things like not only your immune function, but chronic inflammation, oxidative stress, changes in the microbiome, and telomeres, and gene expression, and angiogenesis, and so on. And each one of these biological mechanisms is directly influenced, just like our immune function is, by eat well, move more, stress less, and love more. So it's not that you only want to make these changes because of this pandemic that's out there. These are changes that are worth making because the other pandemic that's out there is heart disease and diabetes. You know, uh, 80 million people in this country have high blood pressure. You know, 60 million are taking cholesterol-lowering drugs. More people die of heart disease than, than anything else, and yet it's almost completely preventable if we put into practice what we already know. But the good news is that the same lifestyle changes that can help prevent or even reverse heart disease and diabetes and prostate cancer and other conditions are the same ones that can help boost your immune system to help ward off uh, the coronavirus as well. Yes, I love that you say this. I've had on this show Dr. Kim Williams, who's the past president of the American College of Cardiology and the current president of Rush Medical Center, the current cardiologist, chief cardiologist at Rush Medical Center. And he says that to varying degrees, 97% of Americans are heart unhealthy. So you imagine that when you start to overwhelm Medicare with something like that kind of figure, it just becomes untenable. And through what you're saying, which I love, it's so empowering for people. You don't have to stand in line. You don't have to go to the doctor. You don't have to hope that very expensive pills will maybe, as we guess, fix your situation. You can actually fix your situation right here, right now, today. That power is right on your plate. And it does so many things. It fixes your health, but it also sends a direct message to where you want your dollars to go. So it's very empowering to be plant-based. You're just uh, checking off lots of boxes, you know, plate one plate at a time. Yeah, I don't want to give people the false sense that if they eat a plant-based diet, then they can go out and be exposed to the coronavirus and their immune system will protect them. That would be foolish. But no matter how hard we try to avoid the virus, invariably there are times we may may get exposed unwittingly. And how our bodies interact with that is something that we do have more control over than we once thought. 